Hi, my name is Heather and I'm a naturalist with Bremer County Conservation. We're here at Southeast Elementary in Waverly and they have this amazing prairie that we're gonna check out today. We just went on a bike ride with some uh, young students, uh, Miss Angie and I, and now we're here and we're so excited we had to share it with all of you. So we're gonna talk about a couple of the different plants that you can find here. The first one is down low, that is the black-eyed Susan. And that's got a really dark center with yellow petals. Then we have another one right here that's yellow. This one's just starting out. You can see the cone head. And so this is a cone flower. It is the yellow headed cone flower. Okay, sometimes the people call it a gray headed cone flower as well. And there's another cone flower right behind that, right here. And this is a native uh, cone flower to Iowa. The leaves are kind of looking like they're done. Um, it's one maybe a little earlier bloomer. This is the pale purple coneflower. This may not be the kind that you have in your yard. Most likely you have just um, a regular purple coneflower, which is right here behind me. So we're gonna step around some of these plants. This is what many of us have in our yards. Really nice cone head there. And again, those petals that are kind of a purple pinkish color as well. Oh, there's already a fly on there. Did you capture that? Oh, he went away. Okay, so that's one of them. I have um, another spot down here. So we're gonna walk a little bit in the prairie and we're gonna check out this bee balm or um, some people call it mint. Um, it also looks like a firework and it's right here. This is called wild bergamot and some people also refer to it as bee balm. Now, as, we, as I look here at the prairie itself, there's lots of insects hovering around and it's just really, really um, big blossom and, and really vibrant. So that's kind of a cool one. Right behind it is an iconic prairie plant called Rattlesnake Master. Okay, it's not just rattlesnake, it's called Rattlesnake Master. And these are the actual flowers right here. That's all the showier it gets. And so that's kind of a neat one. It has really jagged um, edges on its leaf down here. You can kind of see that behind or in front of my hand. So that's a really unique species. It's fairly tall. You can kind of see it's almost chest high to me. So we are, we are talking about some seriously tall plants here at the prairie at Southeast. Now there's one right over here. It's actually a grass that we'll talk about next. Looks a little bit like a turkey foot. Some people refer to it as that. It has the three toes. Let me see if I can put my hand in there so you can see that really easily. Okay, this is big blue stem and it's not quite done growing. It'll get even taller than me, um, but it is a really iconic prairie plant and it's, it's a kind of a, a neat one to see here at this particular area. Now there's one more um, that I want to share with you. This one, I, I don't know those. Isn't that a comp plant? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's show it in a bigger, bigger version. Okay. So we're gonna walk. We're gonna walk a little bit down here um, because that one is um, really neat in that it actually holds water like a cup. And so, oh, there's modern. some butterflies flitting around and some bees on the bergamot in there. Okay, there's, a, there's that butterfly. Maybe we'll get a shadow of him. So um, this is the cup plant. It's got a very square stem. You can see it's almost flat. And if I turn it, um, there's a possibility there could be some water left over right there. So that water just holds in each of those little cups. And so it's very possible to see like amphibian eggs or other things in there. And that's why it's called the cup plant. And usually it's, it gets kind of um, overgrown almost. It gets uh, really crazy and thick in certain places. And out here, um, there's another spot I can see just in the distance that's really full of that cup plant. But there's another one over here we can check out. This one's like a daisy fleabane. Very teeny tiny little daisy flowerets. Um, and that's one that's fairly common that we can see in the um, prairies pretty often. And then way back here, oh gosh. Here's one we don't want to touch. <laughs> right here, this is wild parsnip. And wild parsnip is actually 
a photosensitive plant. If you touch it and get that oil on you, it will react to the sunlight and you'll get like a blister. So oftentimes it grows in the ditches and things like that. So I'm not gonna go any further. I'm gonna retreat. But right over here is Culver's Root. Very white, um, has kind of a point on it as well. And it is just a really, really neat prairie plant as well. So we're gonna back ourselves out of the prairie. Try not to touch any of that photosensitive wild parsnip yuckiness of a plant. And I don't see any compass plant around here. Miss Angie, do you see any right here? I think we might have to walk think, back to where we were to see that. So we're gonna walk over here now, give you a view of that prairie as we go. There should be no trees in our prairie. If there's trees in the prairie, those are considered weeds. So we try and there's manage. There's more wild parsnip there. Yes. Here's more of that culver's root a little bit closer up. A little bit younger plant so you can't see it quite as intensely um, but still very cool <clears throat> all right hopefully we're not walking too fast there's a couple turkey vultures coming in so we got to keep moving so they don't think we're dead they're soaring over the prairie All right, here we go. This is the compass plant, and it has very large leaves. They are oriented usually east and west, so they catch the sun's light in the, the morning from the east, and then the sunset from the, the west in the afternoon. So they orient their leaves that way. That also helped the pioneers as they were exploring this new place that people thought was horribly terrible and because it couldn't grow trees. Um, instead, we had these tall grass prairie plants. Um, so this is the compass plant. It's um, got a very large, here's, it looks like it got damaged in one of the recent storms. Some of the buds would be here. This stem, um, oh yeah, you can kind of tell why that would have been gum for the children because it's very sticky. Um, so that would have been something that the, the little kids could have gotten um, out of the stem of this plant. And in the back, ooh, we may have to we take have a to, still picture of this because we can't see it from right here. But they're, they look like a very large sunflower. So that is our compass plant. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks so much for joining us today and we'll talk to you again soon.